back to 1990, uh, I think it would be very hard to have seen the, the progress that we made uh, in the last decade. Uh, as we discussed earlier, the uh, quality of the game is uh, tremendous. The uh, support for the game among the 32 NFL teams is uh, very strong, the support of our players. The extent of the youth programs here, I think, would have been hard to foresee. Uh, my vision for 10 years from now is that we have made uh, more progress with uh, participation of European players and uh, that we're able to capture a bigger share of the viewers on television. I think that, uh, plus some additional franchises, would be... Uh, great accomplishment in the next decade. Well, and just in the last uh, 18 months, I have visited in, uh, in uh, different places in France and in, uh, in uh, um, Spain, and also we've had quite a few internal discussions about other cities uh, in Europe. And uh, this is something we have a strategic review underway this year, and uh, but that would be part of the vision of uh, growing the league in the next five to ten years. That was the question I asked Alex this morning. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. Uh, I think it's probably too early to, to know for certain uh, some of the outcomes of uh, how the Kirsch group uh, issues are addressed, but uh, certainly it's uh, to me it's part of a uh, it's a swinging of the pendulum maybe in the media sports media because the uh, decade of the 90s was an explosion of technology and uh, of private television supplementing state television certainly in Europe. And um, that included an explosion of coverage of sports and sports rights fees in Europe and in America. Mm -hmm. And uh, that pendulum went all the way over here, and it seems to be coming back maybe toward the middle. <coughs> and I think that will have some consequences both in Europe and in America, but I think it's a little too early to know exactly what those consequences will be. We feel that... Uh, we have the biggest audience certainly in America now, and uh, we want to keep our product on broadcast television, our game, and um, we have the advantage of playing almost every game on one day of the week or on the weekend here in Europe, Saturday and Sunday, and I think that helps in the long term to have the viewers uh, continue to give a great deal of attention to our game. Once you spread it over seven days, I think it begins to become uh, diluted when there are so many channels in television.